How many times have you been asked, why do you like horror movies so much? Since I was a kid, the answer has always been, I just do. It wasn't until much later I discovered the real reason why I and many like me love horror movies. Hello and welcome to Chaotic Puck. My name is Jimbo Lewis and today I'm taking a look at the psychological reasons why we love horror. Ever since early childhood, uh, probably around like third grade or so, I've always been asked why I watch and love horror. Uh, and people never ask like out of curiosity, but rather like a, a, a teasing manner. Maybe that's just my case because I was always picked on in school anyway. But I never really had like a good answer. All I could come up with was I just do. The truth is, when I watch movies that are in other genres besides horror, um, I get anxiety, especially when like anything, for example. It starts off fine, Lloyd meets this girl and they like each other, and then the dad says, no way. That's when my anxiety kicks in and it just increases as the movies go on. A recent example would be You People. Like, I didn't even watch it. Uh, and it sent my anxiety through the roof. Uh, my wife watched it in the bedroom and I just listened uh, while I sat on the living room couch. Uh, spoiler warnings ahead. Um, there was so much between the breakup, the discourse between Ezra and Akbar, and Shelley's constant like cringy behavior. Um, now I was diagnosed with uh, inattentive ADHD, which explains so much of my childhood. Uh, doing research since then, I found out that a common symptom of um, ADHD, specifically those of us who are inattentive, is hypersensitivity. If you ever heard the phrase, uh, making mountains out of molehills, that's pretty much us with everything. So when you watch a movie like Say Anything, and whatever you feel when Lloyd finds out that he can't be with Diane, for us, that feeling is intensified tenfold. Another symptom we struggle with is um, people pleasing. We just want to make people happy and we want people to be happy. And when you combine that with hypersensitivity, you can see um, serialized TV. Like I know the anxiety is coming and I'm just trying to put it off as long as I can. Now, I will say that um, it has gotten better with the medication I take, so it's not as bad, but there are still some movies that are just like hard for me to watch. Now, everything I just said probably makes zero sense when it's applied to the horror genre, but don't worry, because it's about to. But first, if you're digging this video, consider subscribing to my channel for more great horror-related content. So in horror, you already have the expectation that pretty much everyone is going to die, right? Uh, there's sort of this established formula and it's really about trying to figure out uh, who's going to survive or who the killer is or even how is the monster going to take out the next victim. Uh, and in that regard, I don't have to take on the anxiety of the character's problems and the emotional distress that they feel. I can just like sit back and enjoy the ride. That's why the majority of the horror I watch are either um, supernatural horror movies or slashers uh, and the fact that they're based in fantasy. After dealing with anxiety and ADHD all day, um, horror just allows me to fully relax and just breathe. It's, it's like my safe space. When it comes to horror based in reality like home invasion or revenge horror, your grave. Other movies that fall into that category would be The Strangers, Vacancy, and You're Next. Uh, two films I'll never watch again are Antebellum and The Incident in a Ghostland. They're very well written and well made films. In fact, I did review uh, Incident in a Ghostland on Screamstream, but they affected me so much emotionally that I could barely finish them. Uh, so you'll very rarely see me review movies like that. Um, there are a few exceptions like Hostile, Frontiers, and High Tension that don't really bother me, um, but I'm not going to go out of my way to, to watch them. And that's why I love horror movies. Uh, why do you love horror? Is it just a fun escape, or do you have some deeper reason? 
let me know in the comments. Um, until next time, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Chaotic Jimbo. So I'm using my personal accounts now. Um, also on TikTok, I'm posting original content that I'm not just regurgitating from YouTube over there. So if you are using TikTok, I know a lot of us on YouTube don't like TikTok, but until YouTube lets us uh, do longer shorts, I'm posting content over there on, on TikTok. And it's, like I said, it's original content. Um, all of those accounts are at Chaotic Jimbo. And I will be streaming on Twitch again soon, and I'll let you know when that is coming. And with all that, my name is Jimbo Lewis saying, if it was real, the cameraman would be dead too. Good night.